big pans come in handy <clears throat> when we're doing meat. And these butchering buckets come in handy. We got them from Cabela's. Now all the meat roasts and chops are right here and the tenderloins. So we're gonna wash them up and I'll show you some of that process in wrapping. Now as we're doing these, these are the ball roasts. So what you're looking for is to get all of this fat and nasty off. And as we do it, we're just gonna pop it into um, one of our buckets. That's the fat that goes out. And then the extra meat will go into another bucket. This has been all sanitized, ready to go. This is called the silver skin on the meat, which you do not want. It has a gamey taste to it. And as much as you can, you try to get most of it off. Even before, you know, I find it a lot easier doing it this way while you're butchering um, than doing it before prepping, okay? And we're going to do this with every single piece of meat that we have here. this is time consuming but it is well worth it <clears throat> Here. <clears throat> Let me put 
2020 ball roast. Dave. And that will be our roast. Let's see how much it weighs. Because I am documenting how much meat we get. This is 3.2 pounds. Ball. 3.02. So we're going to do that for each piece of meat that we get. And then put it in the freezer. Other meat on the legs, we are actually going to do that into chunks for stews. doing me is the ne neck roast from last year. Mm -hmm. 